Welcome back to EducateTube.com. I just built a 12 volt um, battery pack system, the world's smallest do it yourself battery pack system. It comprises of two 6 volt battery arranged in series, as you can see here. So now it's a 12 volt. The good thing about 12 volt battery is that you can hook up to an inverter. This is a 30 watt inverter that I connected to. So you can see, very compact, the size of my hand, really. Right, it has an inverter, and because it has an inverter, it can hook up 30 watt inverter. It can hook up to a device that can run on a 30 watt or less. For example, here I have a night light that runs on a, uh, a compact fluorescent light bulb, and uh, you can check the upper right hand corner on how to build one. If you turn it on, for example, I have a two switch. Actually, this switch turns on the um, the main main connection so that the battery is connected to the inverter this uh, prevents it from like draining the uh, battery okay and of course this uh, night light has its own switch I can turn that off as well if I wanted to okay so it has a main power system to turn off this one I bought for $1.50 it's actually a regular switch plug okay as you can see pretty compact cool and on top of that it actually has a USB connector as well so two way to plug your appliance, anything less than uh, 30 watt. For example, Apple iPad for example would definitely work on this. You have a smartphone, most smartphone has a USB connector, so you can connect to that. If not, you can connect to the AC adapter there. So even a netbook for example will be able to charge on here. Now of course this battery is uh, calculated to be around 54 watt of power. So you pretty much can run a uh, decent uh, you know, power system. You can probably charge your iPad about one to a one and a half time. And in addition, if you have an MP3 player, for example, uh, you know those USB MP3 player, you hook it up to this here. It'll last you for at least, I would say, 200 or more hours. Okay, so you don't have to worry about uh, uh, you know losing power on your MP3 player. In addition, if you can see the po uh, positive and negative terminal, you can actually, if you have a solar panel, you can hook up the two directly there and uh, especially if you have a 20 watt power solar panel you can actually charge this um, battery pack system in less than uh, three hours okay so this is my 12 volt compact battery system that I built okay pretty cool let's look at my other one this is even smaller this is like 6 volt it's um, actually connected to 6 volt battery this is a 6 volt 4.5 amp hour Okay, I got it from the Spotlight. Both of them actually come from the Spotlight. Uh, each the Spotlight costs less than 10 bucks, so I was able to uh, buy it and build this. Okay, as you can see, there's a main switch as well. This main switch allows you to uh, connect to the USB port. There's two of them here, high powered uh, USB port, allow you to charge your smartphone and any USB devices. In addition, this actually this is one is pretty cool. It actually has a built-in uh, LED light. As you hear, has a, a switch here. Okay, now I like about this thing is because this, the LED light here, this actually came from a $2 uh, LED light from a dollar store. Uh, it was running on a 6 volt battery, it was a 4AA battery and I calculated it to be 6 volt. So I thought maybe you can connect it to the, uh, the battery directly, the 6 volt battery, battery, and it can. This is by the way, is a um, sealed acid lead battery, okay, so this is, you can, recite, you can recharge this over and over again. For at least a hundred time uh, using neither solar again just like the other one it can be charged from a solar uh, panel now in this case i would actually use a five to ten watt solar panel to charge this and it should charge within two three hours okay so very convenient this is one of the most convenient one because this one is actually less than two pound and very light it has a built-in led light and usb so if you have a smartphone or a, a tablet that uses usb this would be the ideal one okay excellent stuff All right so now you can see the world's smallest compact battery system using lead seal battery from the spotlight I built these two I hope you can build one yourself I'll show you now how to hook up other devices on this uh, 12 volt compact uh, battery system so the first thing I want to show you is this old Sony stereo system it's uh, if you look at the back you know this is pretty big right it actually runs on a 13 watt power now so according to this inverter you can run this system because this is a 30 watt so if you connect there like that okay let me turn it around um, I think it's, it's not on yet let's turn it on 
There we go. You see the light that's turned on. Um, if I turn it on, let's turn to radio for now. So you can see the radio is on. You can, it actually works on the radio. Uh, this is a pretty big stereo system. I mean, carry around. So let's hook up to this tiny battery, 12 volt compact uh, battery that I built, as you can see. Okay. So, and if you want to hook up to, uh, let's say, an MP3 player. Um, okay, so you can connect it to, uh, okay, let's turn this off for a minute, turn it to, uh, you can put a CD in here too to play, let me see if I can, oh yeah, I do have CD, let's try CD, um, play, okay, let's play some chipmunk song here, Christmas chipmunk, although it's not Christmas yet. That's going to be next year, this coming year. Uh, All right, you chipmunks. Ready to sing your song? I'll sing beyond. Yeah, let's so sing it. It works pretty well. Okay, so let's charge a tablet, for example, using the uh, AC adapter. This is a 10 watt tablet. So you plug it in, and there we go. You can see it's um, charging right now. Okay. So that's great. You can charge a tablet. If you want to charge a smartphone, right? Again, um, you can charge directly with the AC adapter, or if you wanted to, there's a USB connector right here. Now, I think this is only a 500 milliamp connector, so it will charge maybe a, a smartphone, okay? But I don't think it can direct, directly charge a tablet because a tablet might use more than one. Uh, amp and this is I think only 500 milliamp so the, it, it has the problem is not because of the battery it has to do with the inverter okay so let's connect this to my uh, smartphone where is it there it is okay and you can see there we go it's charging right now okay it's a 70 percent and it's a charging so yeah if you have a smartphone it's charge your smartphone you have a tablet or charge your tablet if you have you know a mini speaker, like Sony or any type of uh, portable speaker you can carry around, it will charge. It will uh, run that too. The world's smallest do-it-yourself compact battery system, 12 volt, 54 watts. Okay, since we're uh, on the topic of talking about efficiency in light and all that stuff, right? Um, this compact uh, battery system. Is a 54 watt power because there is a two six volt battery and it's 4.5 amp hour. If you calculate that's about 54 uh, watt of power. Now uh, you want to conserve as much energy as possible by running a very efficient light bulb. Now the best one, of course, is to use the LED light, but I don't have it right now available. So I'm using compact fluorescent light bulb. Is uh, that's compatible with a night light? You plug it in. It's a seven watt. There we go. Okay, it works pretty well. Okay, now I have um, the Christmas light. Now you can check the uh, upper right hand corner on how to build one of these. This is a Christmas light. I bunched together in this um, recycled uh, water uh, bottle, plastic water bottle. You want to throw it away. And I create a, a light. This is actually only using 2.2 watt of power. So this would be ideal because it's only using 2 watt instead of 7 watt. And there we go. You have a light. There it is. Pretty bright, especially at night, right? Using only 2.2 watt. And because it's a 54 watt power, and let's say we drain only maybe 50% of it, that gives us a, um, a, you know, at least, it will be able to run for at least 10 hours of this light. So it will last through the night, okay? And then of course you recharge it the next um, morning using solar panel. And then you have, again, this light will last for 10, at least 10 hours. So let's turn off all the light and see what I'm talking about here. It's quite bright, as you can see, um, relatively anyway. Okay, for night, this is awesome. Amazing. Thanks for watching. That's K2.com. Okay